This gonna be a little slight reaction. We got Alabama versus Middle Tennessee. I seen Alabama one. I wanna know how they quarterback look. That's is really what I'm here for, man. I, I need this because they said Milrow starting. I gotta see how he play. I gotta see if they really Come like. Again. Cause I had Alabama like as one in my prediction. I think Alabama gonna go back to being number one again. Like. I think they gonna like yeah, like yeah we back running this you feel me I think they gonna do that this year bro like so I gotta I wanna see if you know what I mean if my prediction oh, right and on second and six to do it again behind a huge offensive line and a whole man to the outside by McClellan who finally gets wrestled out after a pickup of y'all remember that one year. Tight I think it was a Citadel Alabama play and it was like here. either it was tied. Getting a body on the or it was like Kendrick, 10 to 17 at half, right and they were Set like, what is going on? I remember that game. I think they won like 66 to 10. Like, they didn't score at the half. Wow. Yeah, he's nice. Probably the best athlete on the field. Takes a ground ball and says, you know what? Oh, like he was going to throw it. That's what I'm going to say. He, he even tried to throw it. So he ain't even really like. They wouldn't have got to him if he didn't think about throwing. If he was just running, like, yeah. He nice. He nice. He nice. I feel like he going to return it. It's in the highlights. Oh, no. And into Middle Tennessee territory. Higher than it actually was for those uh -huh. big boys. The opposite. <laughs> a little dance by Roy Dell Williams to get through. Talking with How they running back situation oh, looking like? Any Alabama fans watching? How they running back situation look like? Where his know. feet are when they're in Y'all feel platform. comfortable with y'all running backs? Feet were aligned. He was ready, strong base to throw the football. Accurate throw. He was taking a huge step this fall camp. McClellan on the handoff. It's a pickup of six. We'll leave second and goal now. Nice He's out run, of rhythm. Nice Watch this. Oh, it's the run play. That was good, too, though. That was good. <laughs> Listen, he's not out there eating Rodney Scott's, but out to lunch, yeah, that's how you would describe it. Uh, third and goal. Bounce to the outside. How did he get out of that? Well, splashes in. I was still looking at the. <laughs> Alabama with I was still looking at the uh, pile. I'm like. Vision by Jace McClellan. Sticks his head down there. Nothing there. Oh, he's like, get off me. That'll be tough to recover from, but he does. Ends up being the bowl MVP that year. So what a great maturation season for his confidence. Got to sit and continue to learn. Their defense must be good because this is the only offensive highlights I've seen in middle to the season. Cradle is able to pick up a first down. He said made an impact from day one. And then they got on the third and ten. They ain't do nothing in him two plays after that. Uh, he got there quick. He got there quick. With the sack, it's a loss of eight. This time see Was he this blocked? Like, he got there quick. Austin's going to loop around. It's going to confuse the left guard and center. They're trying to pass, pass this off. Oh, he didn't. They yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Both of them would have gotten home. Deontay lost That's what I was about to say. Like, they either one, like, somebody would have tied with him. They get pressure on the cornerback, and it's a sack for Jonathan Butler. And that's what middle does when they're at their best. It's a loss of 10. Shoots the gap right here. You're going to see J.C. Latham has his eyes outside. Not sure if Darian Dalcourt, no. Slide was going to the left. So that's one where Jalen Milrow, if he can identify that, he's got to slide it the opposite direction. See, if they did some so offense, they could low-key be in this game. Off, they had a little, a little, some Frank offense. Kuzik, we haven't seen... Even if they just scored once, it would have been they would be in the game. And he'll take it all the way into Bama territory with a scramble of 30 yards. I don't, I don't like Middle Tennessee's colorway that they wearing right now. I don't like the white helmet, white on the blue pants. Like they should have wore white pants, bro. Or a blue helmet. I, I just looking to go deep. Comes back intermediate and good footwork by Jeremy Tate. Set up third. Why he ain't the running back, bro? How big is bro? What the heck? And it never had. Oh, they needed that. 
They needed a touchdown. See, they had some offense. They could have kept this game. Alabama looking like Ohio State right now. Like, haven't seen that explosive play downfield yet. Like, we should be up by this much, but we not. Tight. And Kobe Prentice. That'll leave third and one out of his hand. Yeah, out route. So it's a timing route from Jalen Milrow. His feet have been perfect. Taking that next step yet, but pressure coming, and Milrow can't escape. Brought two extras, and Parker Hughes comes up with the. Hey, that line looking you know, questionable. <laughs> Go on. Bodies. It's six on six, but that urgency. Lie. That clock is about a little bro got in there faster. like <laughs> a slant route to Jermaine he ain't even that big and he got in there bro like that looking like a question as he throws and intercepted oh he got hit Key with the pick for he got hit on that throw the see they just need some in, offense as well as mix some stuff in for they need some Nobre. offense no Alabama they could be up they could be a way more than what they at now see like they just needed some offense, which would have fueled the defense. They needed some offense going on. Recruiting cycles. Now all of a sudden, the physicality you can push around the defense like that. That's how Alabama's built. They need offense. With the sack, it's a loss of twelve. Right off the edge again. Like they, they need, they need. They could have had it tied, Loki, before the half. Has got to see pre-snap and protect himself or get rid of the ball quickly. In the same game two years ago, Bryce. Against Tennessee. Milrow Let's see if Alabama gonna score. He's gonna unload deep. Got a man. Oh, he got him, man. That's a nice throw, yeah. Alabama. Now they about to run the score up. About this play. That's probably the, gonna be the closest all deep. game. Even though they Milrow haven't scored, this is probably the closest safety. the score is as gonna as get. Like, snap, you know. he checks the safety <laughs> to make sure he stays low. Looks left, stays low, gets his eyes on Isaiah Bond. This is what I love. He doesn't throw it on a line. He throws it across the field. Allow your fast receiver to run away from the... And he rebounded. Right? Halfway through that second quarter. Like, man, they got to get something going. Big run by him. Big throw by him. Got That's what I'm saying. They need track. something, bro. You need some points, bro. They didn't even... <laughs> <can be> dangerous. <laughs> it went from them pressure, having the ball to Alabama next play, at, the next highlight having the ball. Able to scramble forward for a gain of four. Jonathan Butler we might be able to see the backup come in for Alabama. Yeah, bro. It's a lead. That's Alabama quarterback with two rushing touchdowns in the same game two years ago. Bryce... It's a lead. Yeah, it's a lead. Milrow has all day. Now he's going to unload deep. Got him in. If he scores on this... On this. Oh, wait. This... ESPN showing the same highlight again, bro. Uh, they be doing, they be glitching like that sometimes. They be showing the same highlight. Like, bro, we've seen this already. ESPN. Do better. Whoever's on the highlight team sucks. They need to get fired. Y'all firing all these news analysts and all that. Y'all need to fire the highlights team because y'all that's terrible job, bro. They're gonna copyright this video now that I say that. because his arm is so strong. Might even block it. it they like, oh yeah, he talking about that. Uh, Instead of putting air under it. But I'm for real, like. <coughs> this that happens too often or not. Y'all should know that you have the same highlight twice. Here goes Kool Aid McKinstry, and he finally gets tripped up at the 35-yard line. Playing in different scenarios, playing in space. Let's hope they just spat that up and he's okay. Uh, lob on second and five. It's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. Yeah. Uh, Black. Looks like you guys won that one. Nine yard touchdown. Yeah, y'all got that. They're trying to pass that off. Oh, they scored? The Super Bowl where Seattle ran the that would have been useful earlier. Should have did that in the first quarter. He was able to cut that slant route. See? It's probably because they're backups in Alabama's backup. Buckner, quarterback, drop the snap. Oh, no. Fire, and that's good for a first down. They got the backup in. And there's Definitely time left. The trajectory. Get the ball up and down over those linebackers, especially down the middle of the field. Watch how he layers this football right over the linebacker. Great spot. Buckner played his high school ball at the Bishop School in San Diego. He was injured most of his sophomore year, so he barely played. What a catch made by Jermaine Burton. 
I wouldn't even have him in the game. Get him out of the game, bro. Buckner transferred for what would it's probably not quite, but it's Robbie Oots behind Dupree, and they can create a lot of space on the left side for Justice Haynes. And he does his own work at the tail end. Watch the down blocks. Watch yeah. the movement. Yeah, Alabama looks good. We oh, ain't got to watch her. It's Alabama look good. <laughs> Tight ends get sealing that edge. Towards the end, they got it together. I mean, see, I wish all, we could say that about Ohio State right now, man. Like, anyway, I'll see you on the next video.